people running for their lives after a party turns into a shootout in southeast Portland. You're watching Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Emily Burris. An all ages party ended in chaos last night after two men started shooting at each other. Police say at least five people were hit. Hundreds of others frantically ran from the scene. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling talked with witnesses who were there. She joins us live at that scene in southeast Portland now with more details. Jennifer. Ellie, it was a scary night for party goers at the warehouse behind me. Witnesses said that people were fleeing out of the door, stampeding out, trying to get away from those shooters running to their cars. They say they saw a man that was injured in the jaw, another man that was hit in the side, and a young lady injured in the leg. We have 300 people just rushing out. People are driving in all directions. Um, you're hearing gunshots. It's just pandemonium, really. Ian Otterjack was at work in an office on the opposite side of the warehouse from the party. He went outside to smoke and noticed two men shouting, one at the entrance and one near the dance floor. Garage doors were open, so there was um, confrontation in between the two. It didn't take long for things to explode. It sounded like a, just like a blah, 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 blah. Like it was just super like, it was quick, but it was, I felt like slow motion at the same time, you know, it was crazy. Jessica Jones was in a different office space right above the shooters. Yes, it was literally sounded like a stampede of just like, like rhinoceros or something, like just, I mean, running for like literally for the life of them. I saw multiple people that were injured get into public vehicles. I saw them get into ambulances. It, it literally was just chaos. It was a zoo that would, the gates were let open. Ian says the man outside fired two shots first and bullets blew out these windows as someone blasted back from the dance floor. People flooded the only exit not blocked by a shooter. And it was just every car skirting out, every car just backing up and slamming on their gas and people screaming. I mean, it looked like a bomb had really gone off inside the building, and I literally just ducked behind every single car and went down to the end of the corner. Ian's boss let him in a back door, and he huddled in his office with coworkers. Police arrived later and cleared the building. And when I opened the door, um, I had two police coming down, one with an AR-15 pointed at me, screaming, uh, who is the shooter, where is the shooter? Some cars were damaged. The paint chipped on this SUV from falling glass after bullets flew through the windows. So if he would have shot up, he probably would have shot me, my dog, or I mean, obviously through my ceiling or I mean, my floor. Ian says the shooting appeared to be gang related. The fact that the commissioner has asked the mayor now to disband the gang unit, um, is an issue to me. We have a gang unit for a reason for issues like this. I mean, it was like like a whole bunch of ants just like everywhere, just try, hiding behind cars, like trying to get their phone to call, like somebody to come pick them up, just people screaming out their loved one's name and their friend's name. And I mean, it was I mean, it was like a smaller version of the Titanic. I felt like it was just crazy. And police say two people had to be taken to the hospital by ambulance. The other three were driving themselves or taken in private vehicles. Three people were treated and released. No word on the other two and their condition. Back to you. All right, Jennifer, thanks. We will be sure to keep you updated as we learn more in that.